guys, how are you? Today we will be doing this. What is this? Alright, it's a scratch. You see it? So, we're going to learn how to do this video. First of all, you need to download Scratch 2. Uh, I'll download the link later. I'll give you the details later. This is Scratch 2. All right, let's just get introduced to the Scratch. This is called the Sprite. A sprite is the character you want it to move. You want it to be here around, here and there. Sprites can be changed from here. These are the scripts. All right, these are the scripts. You have many scripts here. One for motion, looks, sounds, pen, data, events, control, sensing, operators, and more blocks. You can make your own blocks later. Custom. Well, you can custom your, um, your sprout. So, sorry, your sprite. Sprite, you know, sprite. That's all for now. I was already giving you an introduction about what is Scratch uh, in the previous minutes. And now we're going to do a real fun exercise, the one that you just saw, uh, which is... Once you download Scratch 2, just go at the top here, the toolbar here, just click on Tips. Once you click on tips, you'll have all these options to work with, all right? So we were going to start doing the getting started with Scratch, and we will make this video. Just to get introduced with our characters, which are called the sprites, how are we going to put them in, and what do we do? Click with me step by step. And do whatever they say. First of all, they said in the motion section, you're going to move 10 steps. All right. Next, click on sound and choose play drum one. Play drum one, 25 beats, 0.25, stick it under it. So these are a list of instructions, okay? Next, move 10, just put here minus. So get back to motion, put move 10, double click on number 10 and put minus 10. All right, that's it. Now, add play drum. So go back to sounds and there is a play drum. We add another play drum and we click on number one. We choose four. Crash symbol. What's that symbol? And then it's done. Next, go to control and add repeat. Once you put it here right next to it, it will hug it all. It's hugging all the instructions together so we repeat it okay it says here click on run let's see run 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 it's not clicking run scratch it's not clicking run anyways let's keep on moving and see did I miss anything? I didn't miss anything, basically. Next, we're going to go to Looks. And we're going to drag, say, under it. And type here, Watch Me Dance. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> with an exclamation mark, I guess, yeah. Next, I have to put it on top of it all, and then go next. Now let's go to events, 
Click when clicked. Mm -hmm. Your script will start whenever you start the green. Okay, see why? Why it didn't start? Because I didn't click it already. Ah. Evan, help me do this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sprite, for making the move. See, this is it. This is where can you test your sprite if it's working or not. After that, let's go to looks again. Change color. Change color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all. Change color. When right arrow. Okay, so the events when. And I choose when, this one, when, and I choose not space, right arrow. All right, let's see what's next. Now adding a background. Good. Remember where do we add backgrounds from? It's from here somewhere. We will add the background. Go to this button over here. We want the dance background. So you see list of backgrounds over here, all the pictures, opa, the spotlight stage, it's added. So it's added here, fine. We don't want this background, I'll delete it, I don't want it. So I'll use this background, I'll move my sprite down. You can click on your sprite, locate, put it anywhere you want. So I'll put it here, mm -hmm. under the spotlight. So, when you click on it, the costumes will be appearing here. In order to go back to your scripts, just click on this tab over here, scripts. So, I chose my background. Let's go next. Choose sprite from a sprite library. Paint your own sprite. Upload your own image of sprite. Take a picture from a webcam. So, you're free. You can choose any one of these, all right? Now I'll add the one that they told us to. Now to add this sprite, click, uh, see, she, her name is Cassie Dance. Let's go, Cassie Dance. Where are my sprites? Here. Mm -hmm. You can search somewhere. How did I find her last time? Dance. It takes time for my computer to understand it, so I find it. Here, I want this one, Cassie Dance, okay. So I'll move Cassie Dance over here. Mm -hmm. Now explore some sound. Choose a, choose a sound, record your own sound, import a sound. So you can do one of these also, animate. Now click on the sprite. Click sprites and make script that's switched between costumes. Nice, you can do that. This is the sprite. And I have to do all of this. Next costume, looks. Where is next costume? Looks. Control. Wait one second. Then forever. Then, event, when, clicked. Okay, so if I do it now. See? It's happening. It's happening. Now I'm done with my project. Each sprite has its own script. If I double click on each sprite, each one has its own script. Now, do you see Cassie dance? It's dancing because I chose forever. So she's dancing forever. And I can stop it now. So I stopped it. You see the stop button? It's here. Um, guys, I want you to try it at home. I want you to download Scratch. It's really fun. It's really fun. We're going to learn more and more. We're going to follow also the tips here to know how to move scripts and how to move pictures around. Try to upload your own picture and make it dance. Let's see what can happen. Um, and I really would like 
to know if you have any other questions. Uh, tell me also if you downloaded it. I'm waiting for all of you, my guys, my students, to tell me whether you like this program or no. And we can work with more projects. Now, how can you download it as a video? So share project. Okay. How can you download it as a video? You can save it. File. Save as. You can record project video. So once you record your project video, it will show as a video only and it will be played by itself. So try it, guys. Try it at home. Tell me what do you think. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Please like this video and subscribe to Computer Ideas for Kids.